Welcome and thank you for watching the Limo Anywhere training channel. In this video we will be going over how to use the reservations dashboard in Limo Anywhere Mobile. You can download and install Limo Anywhere Mobile from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. You will log in using your Limo Anywhere credentials that you normally use to log into Limo Anywhere um, through your web browser on your desktop computer or your laptop. Once you have logged in, you will come to this screen. This is the reservations dashboard. This screen will show you your reservations that you have booked in Limo Anywhere. So you will notice the screen. We have a search bar um, and there are tabs on this dashboard. You have upcoming, in progress, and done. Upcoming tab is going to show you all of your reservations that are not in progress and haven't been completed yet. The in progress tab will show you any trips that are in progress. This means driver is on the way, um, driver is driving the passenger, all of those stages until the passenger has been dropped off and that trip has been completed. Under the done tab this is going to show you all of those trips that have been completed, canceled, anything like that. Uh, they're not going to show in the upcoming tab or the in progress tab. Now you will see on these tabs um, we have job cards. So these are all of your reservations. The top here is the passenger's name. You have your status, the confirmation number, the pickup date and time. If there is a flight being tracked, it will show here. You have your routing, so the pickup and the drop off. If there are any stops, anything like that, in between the pickup and drop off, um, you will see something like this. So three stops there in between. You have the vehicle type that's assigned on the reservation, the total for the reservation, and then if any car or driver has been assigned. Up at the top here you have your search. So once you start typing, it will automatically search for you. You'll see it pop up and then um, it's going to only show you reservations that meet that search criteria. So you can search by confirmation number or passenger name here. So you just saw the passenger name. Um, if I wanted to do a confirmation number, um, can do that as well. Also you'll see this button here. This is your filters button. It's going to bring up the filter screen. So here status is set to all. You can show pending and upcoming and show deleted and done if you want. So pending is going to be anything that's online eFarmin that needs to be accepted or rejected. Um, by default, it is turned off and as well as showing deleted reservations and done. Um, you can turn those on and set those as the default if you would like. Then you also have your dates. So um, by default, it's set to all. You can uh, change it to yesterday, to today, tomorrow, this week, this month, or custom. If you do use the custom setting, the from date you just select the date, the to date, select that here, click OK, and then you can click Apply. And then it will only show you reservations within those dates. And that happens for all tabs. So if it's done, upcoming, you're only going to see during those date ranges. You do have a reset all, so that resets it back. You can 
um, go ahead and apply that as well to see all your reservations. Now on the upcoming tab, you may have past reservations um, that have not been completed or gone through the in progress. Uh, they will show, still show here on the upcoming tab if, you, um, if they are within the date range. So you just want to be aware of that. Now, if you do want to see those pending jobs in the upcoming tab, you can turn that filter on, apply it, and you'll see here I have a pending online and e in job. Now these behave a little bit differently than the um, regular job cards that have been accepted. Um, if you click on the status there, it will bring up the reservation status screen that allows you to accept or reject the particular trip. So there I just showed you one of the quick edit actions that you can do on the reservation dashboard. Um, if you do click on the status, it will bring up the reservation status screen. And here you can change to a particular status. It also has a search bar, so if you do have many statuses, uh, you can search in there and bring up um, a particular status if needed. Another quick edit option is the vehicle type. So if you uh, tap on the vehicle type, it will bring up the assigned vehicle type screen. So you'll notice here I've already got a vehicle type assigned. But if I wanted to unassign it or assign a different one, I can do so and make that change. Whenever you make a change, you will receive that countdown to undo just in case you accidentally make a mistake, tap on something. Uh, we'd like to give you that option. The two other quick edit options on the job card are the car and the driver. So if you do tap on the car, you'll get to the assigned vehicle screen and it will list those cars that are in your fleet to assign. Also has the search as well that you just saw on the vehicle type screen. And next you have the driver. Tap on that, it'll bring up the assigned driver screen. This it will list all of your drivers that you have in your system. And again it also has the search. If you do have a lot of drivers in your system, uh, you can search quickly and assign a driver. You'll notice the undo down here. So those are the quick edit options that you will have on the job cards themselves. You also will see up in the right an edit. If you tap on that, that'll bring up your batch edit functionality. So in here you can select different job cards and you'll see at the bottom you can batch edit the status, the vehicle type, the car, or the driver if you need to. Now you'll notice that when I click this first one, all of the other job cards turn gray. I cannot select those. The reason being is because this particular job card is a different status than the other ones. Obviously this one's online eFarmIn, so I'm going to have the ability to batch, accept, or reject my pending online and eFarmIn jobs. Once you're through batch editing, you can click on the top right, click cancel. So if I select multiple reservations here, and I select status, it's going to bring up that same status screen that you're seeing from the other quick edit options on the job cards themselves and it behaves the same way once you select something it's going to allow you to undo it if you accidentally made uh, a mistake or you can let it set that and it'll change all of those reservations for you simply easily with one little tap it's the same with the vehicle type car and driver 
those will also bring up that same screen that you uh, have previously seen. Once you are through batch editing, um, up in the top right, you can click cancel and that will return it back out of the batch edit mode. Um, so you can start going through searching for reservations, uh, using the quick edit or anything that you need to do. Also on the dashboard at the bottom right, you will see this plus sign. That is to create a new reservation. If I tap on that, it's going to bring up the new reservation screen. We will go over creating a new reservation in Limo Anywhere Mobile in a separate video, but just know that that is an option right there. Now, the other thing you can do on the reservations dashboard with these reservations is that you can tap on the job card itself to bring up the edit reservation screen. So in here you can edit uh, this particular reservation and save it. We will go over editing a reservation in a separate video as well. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please contact our support team at one 888 888-0302 or you can email us at support at limoanywhere.com. Thank you very much.